Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So I post and upload Windows Update videos quite frequently and regularly on this channel, as many of you may know. And a feature that's part of Windows Update on both Windows 10 and 11 is a little feature and setting called Delivery Optimization. And this is something I've been wanting to talk about and post on for quite some time now. And in case you're unaware what delivery optimization does and is, uh, the Microsoft description is quite in-depth, but the long and the short basically is um, that it's a Windows update feature. And according to Microsoft, it can help you download your updates quickly and easily. And that's by providing updates from sources and peers um, other than the Microsoft Windows update servers. And that could reduce the bandwidth and time needed to download and install an update on your device. Now, uh, delivery optimization um, can be toggled off as it is uh, enabled by default on Windows 11. And there are two main reasons you may want to turn off uh, delivery optimization. Um, and that's the first is uh, for uh, uh, privacy reasons and for privacy concerns. And the second is if you are using a, a metered connection. So as an example, a limited data plan or an internet connect connection that has a limited cap on it as an example. Now, um, if you'd like to turn it off for any of those reasons, um, to get to the setting, we just head to the settings menu in Windows 11, head over to Windows Update, and yeah, under Advanced Options, you'll find under Additional Options, Delivery Optimization, and it says here, Delivery Optimization downloads updates from Windows, Microsoft Store, and other Microsoft products quickly and reliably as mentioned. That's according to Microsoft. And the description for the setting says, Your PC may send parts of previously downloaded Windows updates and apps to devices on your local network or on the internet. Now, this is a feature that's toggled on by default as mentioned. And when it's turned on, it will allow downloads from devices on your local network and then also devices on the internet and your local network. Now, one of the reasons, as I mentioned, you may want to turn off delivery optimization uh, is regarding privacy. And this is one of the main reasons I have delivery optimization turned off on um, both my devices is for privacy concerns. And I turn it off because I don't want any parts of any of my data being sent without my knowledge to any other PC, be it on a local network or over the internet without my knowledge. So I'll just turn that off. And I've actually found, found on a side note that turning off delivery optimization um, gives me far less issues and problems with Windows updates. And just over the years of dealing with Windows updates, I found that with the setting turned on, I have a lot more issues downloading and installing updates um, with then with the setting turned off where I have less issues. So in my experience, I just leave it off mainly for privacy and for, for having less issues regarding Windows updates. I've just found I just get far less issues just leaving that setting turned off. Now, as mentioned, um, uh, you can also disable delivery optimization uh, if you are using a metered connection. So if you leave the setting on, another way you can disable it uh, is just by heading to network and internet, go over to Ethernet, and yeah, you see metered connection. And it says some apps might work differently to reduce data usage when you're connected to this network. And what you want to do is just toggle on a metered connection if you are running a metered connection, and this will detect um, a metered connection. And then basically, it will toggle off and it'll prevent any basically on a metered connection, um, your, your operating system will disable the, del the, the uh, delivery optimization automatically in the background if it does detect that you are on a metered connection. So that's how you turn off delivery optimization um, in the Windows and on the Windows 11 operating system. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.